Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with, I guess you could call it a project share. Um, I've recently taken interest in the embellishment boxes that have been going around as swaps and trades and group swaps and so on. And so I've made a couple of those and just wanted to share those in their, you know, varying stages. Um, first of all, I wanted to show you this red, black, and white embellishment box that I'm working on. I haven't done the outer cover decoration, but I do have the inside filled and I've got some beads in a couple of the containers, some baker's thread, some ribbon, um, a couple of different washi tape samples, some hearts, and some stripes. In this container, I have a set of two each of the white, black, and red flowers, uh, some lace, some washi tape underneath there, some flat back pearls, and some rhinestones. I also have got some of these little rosettes have some tassels. Underneath are some little tiny, um, oh, there's also labels underneath, and some black and white bows, and then this big red bow, and then finally some uh, flat back red pearls and some red rhinestones that are self-adhesive. So that I've made. Um, I'm planning on making a girl um, a red, black, and white girl to go on the top of this. And then I've also got an assortment of other things that are kind of similar. Some fibers and rickrack and some ribbon, some tags that are uh, black and white. And um, so I worked on that project. And then I also did one that is peacock inspired. And I did actually decorate the outside cover of this. I was planning on making one of those girls that I was talking about for the cover of this one. Um, but I ended up doing kind of a patchwork of washi tape. And then I had this applique that I was sent a long time ago. And I thought that would be really pretty in the embellishment box. So you can kind of see that it's peacock themed. Um... And so I've got some eyelash thread, uh, two different colors of hem tape, one in kind of an olive green, the other in navy. I've got this rhinestone, not sure, rhinestone ribbon, I guess. Um, some seam tape. Some little, um, I got these at the Dollar Tree, and they're actually meant, I think, as nail polish decorations. Not sure how you'd even do that. Um, but I thought they would be kind of cool for shakers. I've got some, um, thread here, some kind of embellishment of some sort, some beads that are peacock themed, some beads that are peacock colored, a few roses, a few peace signs, have several layers of these self-adhesive flat back pearls, and then, um, some buttons. And so... And in addition to that, I gathered up um, essentially a bunch of things that are um, that same color scheme. So I thought I would just share those. I have these ribbons, ribbons, hem tape, twill tape, um, rickrack. I have a bunch of sequins that are that same color scheme. Some post-it notes some stickers. I have a hello my name is sticker. The initials of the person that I'm sending it to. There's another sticker. This pretty playing card. Some file folder labels. Um, some cool crepe paper. Um, some more stickers, labels. We have these two. Um, and of course with this being peacock themed, I grabbed a couple of images 
from napkins that I had. I didn't have enough to include the whole napkin, but I gave a couple of sections from each of those. Some blue scrap paper, a scrap from some painty paper, um, some stamped bits that I made a long time ago, napkin, just all kinds of things here. Tickets, a tiny envelope, there's another sticker, bingo card, a hello my name is sticker. This is meant for handwriting practice and a napkin, which was my original inspiration. Message pad. Um, this is some sort of ledger paper that's meant to go on a um, organizer, a leaf, jelly print paper, a tag, some embossed paper, a list pad sheet, a couple of index cards, there's a peacock feather, jelly print, something I cut out of a magazine that has peacock feathers, a little paint sample card, um, some lace, and also some fabric. Um, some painty paper, another list pad that's got a peacock at the bottom. We've got these two sheets of paper, this marbled one, some more painty papers, another painty paper. This came from a mouse pad, um, jelly print, this little pocket, there's some more painty papers, um, the person I'm sending this to likes to do a lot of stenciling and mixed media so I thought this would make for a good stencil or jelly something for the jelly plate actually for a de decoration for my wedding um, and then I've got these sheets that are actually from the National Geographic and Citrusol technique and those were kind of blue blue in color or green in color so I'm including those this one was a some sort of tropical flower and you can see it makes those little I don't know kind of pills up and um, the citrusol removes the ink on the shiny National Geographic papers and leaves these little bubbles or cells. We have a piece of deli paper. We have these end papers which you can see has got a wood finish. I have a doily. A piece of grade paper, grade book paper. And then a couple of these fruit bags, um, which again, I thought would be good for either spraying through or um, you can use them on your jelly plate. Plus they're the same color, so you know, you never know. Anyway, and then I've got this last little message pad that I'll write a note to to this person. And so yeah, that's what I've been sort of focusing on and working on and just thought I would share it with you guys. Hopefully you're having a great day, and um, yeah, <laughs> have a great day. All right, bye-bye.